Welcome everybody, I hope you all already know my name. I am William Shakespeare, the most known playwright, actor and poet, widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's preeminent dramatist. I was born April 23, 1564 in Stratford, Upon Avon and unfortunately died overnight of my 52nd birthday. I've been working as a playwright for a very long time, for 20 years, and during my career as a writer I captured the complete range of human emotion and conflict. In fact, I am often called England's national poet. I have been performed in countless hamlets, villages, cities and metropolises for more than 400 years, and yet my personal history is somewhat a mystery. Only two sources provide historians with an outline of my life my plays, poems and sonnets, and the official documentation such as the church and court records. My works include some collaboration and consist of about 38 plays, 154 sonnets, two long narrative poems and a few other verses. My plays have been translated into every major living language and performed more often than those of any other playwright. One among these that is also one of the most famous is Otello, of which we will listen together to the explanation. The first character is Otello, a general of the Venetian army, lover of Desdemona, possibly Brabantius' son in love, best friend with Cassio, good friend of Iago. His traits are kind, respectful, righteous, good natured and brave. Then there is Iago. He is Otello's ensign, Cassio's friend and Rodrigo's friend. He is devious, manipulative, evil minded, self centered. Cassio is the lieutenant of the army, best friend with Otello, supposedly friend with Iago. He is good looking, kind and loyal to Otello, also Cassius. Then there is Rodrigo, supposedly Iago's friend and Desdemona's lover. He is naive, foolish and intelligent. He trusts Iago blindly, which leads him to his downfall. Otello's relationship with Desdemona is unbearable for him. Brabantio is a senator, Desdemona's father, possibly Otello's father-in-law. His traits are vigilant and conformist. And there is Desdemona, the daughter of Brabantio and Otello's lover. She is kind, intelligent, rebellious, loyal to Otello and attractive. The story of William Shakespeare's Otello is set in 16th century in Venice and Cyprus. Otello de Moor, a noble black general in the Venetian army, has secretly married a beautiful white woman called Desdemona, the daughter of a prominent senator, Brabantio. When he finds out, he is outraged and promptly disowns her. Otello Sansen, Iago, harbors a secret jealousy and resentment towards the Moor, partly because another soldier, Lieutenant Cassia, has been promoted ahead of him, and also because he suspects that Otello has had an affair with his wife. Intent on revenge, Iago hatches a devious plan to plant suspicions in Otello's mind that Desdemona has been unfaithful to him with Cassio. Traits a street fight for which Cassio is wrongly blamed and is then dismissed from his post by Otello. Desdemona takes up Cassio's case with her husband, which only further inflames his suspicions that the pair are lovers. In the meantime, Iago manages to procure a treasured handkerchief from Desdemona that was given to her by Otello. He plants it on Cassio so that Otello sees it, then concludes that it is proof of their affair. 
maddened by jealous, he orders Iago to murder Cassio, and then he strangles this demona. Immediately afterwards, Sir Innocent is revealed, and Iago's treachery exposed. In a fit or grief and remorse, Otello kills himself. Iago is taken into custody by the Venetian authorities.